Our next act, when you meet him, you have to be very careful what's on your mind because he'll know exactly what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Well, I really don't know what you're thinking, but our next guest does. You may have seen my next guest, Eric Diddleman, as one of the semifinalists on America's Got Talent. He's mind reader Eric Diddleman. Please welcome mind reader Eric Diddleman. I started into magic when I was little, but as I got older, I got more fascinated by the psychology aspect and wanted to just kind of figure out what people are thinking. I want you to think of the name of your first crush. Now, don't choose Ozzy, obviously. Uh, no, that would be way too easy. And I know you're a big animal lover. Yes. So I want you to think of the name of one of your first pets. Think of one letter right now. I'm getting there's a B in this name, yes? Is that what you're thinking? Yes. You were thinking of two, actually, and uh, you changed your mind a little bit. Yep. But I was getting um, I was getting a Y, yes? Yes. Yeah. I'm also getting an N as well. Does that make sense? I'm very frightened. I am very frightened. Let, let frightened. me see, Sharon. I'm going to try this. Uh, I'm getting some letters. The N was there. I think this was it. I'm locked in. Can you just name the name for the first time out loud? Robin. I think, I think I'm going to jot down what I'm getting from you. I think we're going to go like this, and that two letters makes sense now. I'm locked in for the first time. Can you name the name that's just been inside your mind out loud now? Happy. <laughs> I'm going to have you draw something big and bold, something that people can recognize, but nothing too obscene, because Howard, those are actually really easy to guess. So, uh... <laughs> But first, I need to be blindfolded. I thought Nick could help me oh. out. Nick, you want to help me out here? Can you see through that? Cannot see through that. Cool. And last but not least, I've also got duct tape. This is going to go right over my eye. Can you oh. push down on that, Andy? Make sure that's nice and tight. Nice and tight. Yeah. It's really not necessary. We're going to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you skeptics. Oh! oh. Uh. I'm not getting a whole lot. I'm getting maybe um, part of a face. Does that make sense to you? Um, I'm getting kind of a line here, almost as if you drew a body part. Yes. I'm going to say you drew, did you draw an ear? Yes. It's, you it's drew an ear. Yeah. Cool. How do you do that? So it's like a character wearing a cloak. Uh, I think there's some maybe uh, a big pointy hat he's wearing. That's a triangle. And I'm getting some sort of wizard. Is this a wizard? Wow. Yes. Maybe? That is yeah. crazy. And, and I'm getting glasses. I'm getting curly hair. Uh, this is a self-portrait, Howard? You are correct, gentlemen. <laughs> this is Ellen's, correct? <laughs> 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 Ellen, um, I'm feeling a sense of a little bit of shame because you followed Kevin's drawing. Uh, but this is, this is, uh, I'm getting, uh, no, but no, you did a great job with this. This is actually, I'm getting wheels, actually, some circles. Um, I'm getting, um, you drew, is there a person inside too? A little, because all I'm getting is this, but he's actually holding something like a, it's like a car, a person yeah. in a car. Oh my God. Is that correct? Oh my God. As king of all media, you influence many people, but I want to see if I can influence you. You're up here because in my audition, you never got to color in your drawing, so I'm not going to look, but I want you to color in your face, and you're going to have to do this kind of quick, but you can go back later. But for now, put that down on the table and grab another marker. Let's have some fun and add some devil horns. Howard, bring your whole easel over here as well. A lot of pressure for me, yeah, young gentlemen. Yeah, this was really about me and you, right? Because I was actually trying to influence you to do this. Howie, I'm a little jealous of you because I've secretly wanted to be a game show host. So tonight, I thought I'd give it a try. This should look familiar, but in my version, only one case matters. Before I came out, I tried to determine which of these cases you'd ultimately select and sealed my prediction inside this envelope. So I want you to take a look at all these cases and choose one number out loud now. Uh, 11. 11. Which row do you want to get rid of? The first, second, third, or fourth row? Fourth row. Fourth row, please open your cases. No deal. Now, Howie, at this point, before we open your case, you have one final decision to make. Do you want to keep this or switch it with one of the remaining cases? I'll switch it. With what number? Uh, four. You could have chosen any case. 
In fact, I even gave you an opportunity to change your mind. But there was one target case I knew you would choose, and you would choose this case. Oh. Oh. And so you know it's the only one. Can you open the last cases for me? No. Wow. And in case there was any doubt, the target is case four. Wow. That's amazing. Good old man.